In this section, we will talk about using port mirroring to monitor traffic, local switch port analyzer. In this scenario, we want to monitor the traffic from computer A sent to computer B and also the traffic from computer B sent back to computer A and we have the analyzer computer connect directly to the local switch as you know for the switch operation after the switch bill is mark address table the traffic between computer A and computer B will be sent directly to each other therefore there's no package being captured by the analyzer computer so in order to satisfy the requirement we need to define a spend where the swap port is G01 that I have computer A will be copied to the destination port G010 and the package will be sent like this for the opposite direction we need to define another span with the source port is G02 which connect to computer B will copy to the destination port G010 and the package will be sent like this so by doing that the analyzer computer will have all the package sent between computer A and computer B local span configuration so in order to configure local span we first need to define the span source and the command is uh, done at the global configuration mode and it is monitor section and you provide with the section number and you specify the source and you provide the source interface or VLAN and you can specify the direction is receive transmit or both next you need to define the span destination and the command is also done at the global configuration mode and it is monitor section and you provide it with the section number and you specify the destination interface and you provide with the interface information by default the layer 2 protocol package such as uh, spanning tree uh, CDP or VTP is not being captured so in order to capture the package you need to enter the uh, command uh, encapsulation replicate by default the destination post is not allowed to transmit the data back to the network so in order to override this span configuration you need to add the following command syntax to the monitor section destination which means to this command and it is ingress 
and if the post using dot one q so you need to specify dot one q and vlan and vlan id for the post and if it use uh, isl so you just specify isl and if it's not uh, encapsulate so you just enter untouched and then you specify vlan and vlan id As you know, this computer could send the package to this computer and it have chunk post in between. So we have the option to filter the VLAN so that we can capture only the traffic from a specific VLAN, for example, the VLAN one that connect to this computer so we can use this command done at the global configuration node monitor section and then you provide with the section number and you filter vlan and then you provide which vlan you want to monitor and you can also provide the range of vlans remote switch port analyzer in this scenario we want to monitor the traffic from computer a sent to computer b however in this scenario the analyzer computer connect to a remote switch so in order to satisfy the requirement we have to configure remote switch port analyzer or span so first of all we need to configure the R span VLAN and this have to be configured on all the switch from the source to the destinations and you can see this R span VLAN is only being used for capture traffic next we need to configure the R span with the source is on a local switch and the destination is R span VLAN and after that we need to configure R span on the remote switch where the analyzer computer plug in with the source is R span VLAN and the destination is a destination port on the remote switch and the traffic is gonna go like this and and you can see by doing that the analyzer computer can capture the traffic from computer A to computer B remote span configuration in order to configure our span we first need to configure the R span VLAN on all the switch from the source to the destination and uh, the command is done at the global configuration mode and uh, it is VLAN and VLAN ID to make it the remote span VLAN, we need to enter the command remote-span. In order to define the span source, we configure on the local switch at the global configuration mode monitor section and we provide with the section number and source is a we provide with the interface or the VLAN and we can also the de define the direction uh, receive transmit or both and then we specify the destination by using the command monitor section section number and destination is uh, remote VLAN 
and we specify the span VLAN ID next we need to configure the span destination using the command at the global configuration mode monitor section and section number remote VLAN span VLAN ID so this is the source and then we specify the destination which is the port that the analyzer computer plug in monitor section section number and then specify it is a destination and we provide the interface information and we can also capture the layer 2 protocol package with the encapsulation replicate and we can also filter the VLAN if we want managing span sections you can display the span section in the switch configuration using the command show running configure and you can filter the output to include only monitor and it will show you with the monitor section that you configure on the switch you can also display all the active span section using the command show monitor and if you just do the show monitor it will show all the active section and you can limit it with the syntax section and you specify the section number that you want to see or all to show all the section or local to limit to only local section or range that you can specify a range list of section that you want to see and remote to limit only remote section and you can also ask for the detailed information and here's the example switch at the uh, privilege mode you can do the show monitor and it show with section 1 and it, the type is local section and the source port is the port G101 and the destination port is G1048 and you monitor both section and encapsulation is native and the ingress is disabled it means the destination port cannot transmit back to the network and after you complete the package analysis you can delete the span section using the command no monitor section and you can specify a section number or the range of section that you want to remove or just all local section or all the section that you want to remove so that's it we finished for this section using the switch port mirroring to monitor the traffic